Trading. Simon Michelle joining us from Fig Securities. Simon, uh, good afternoon. Thanks so much for joining us. Obviously, a lot of this uncertainty still seeing increasing demand for those safe haven assets. We've been talking a lot about gold this morning. No doubt, still that, that high demand for, for bonds. Yes, good afternoon. And you're absolutely seeing that uh, yields continue to reach new lows on the back of that uh, solid demand for those safe assets, including bonds. Uh, the uh, Australian 10-year down below 2% for the first time, currently at 1.98. UK 10-year down below 1% at uh, 0.93. And the US 10 year about six basis points uh, off its uh, all time low of 1.38. So significant movements uh, continuing after that vote last week. And how long do you think this is likely to last? I mean, we're likely to see this similar theme throughout the, the rest of the week. Well, we have this uncertainty. I, I do believe so. Yes, absolutely. I think one of the things we're looking at is obviously the credit rating downgrades of the UK. Mm. So they're now down from AAA to AA. Is that uh, revision of credit ratings likely to flow through the UK banking sector? We've seen massive equity movements across a lot of the UK banks down 30%. Uh, you know, if you get a, a downgrade on the credit rating, that can certainly flow through. Uh, while there is uncertainty around the process of... Uh, leaving, um, I think investors are going to be wary and investors are going to uh, sit on the sidelines and wait to see how this plays out and the likely consequences. Yeah, okay, and of course we're all watching what central banks are doing around the world at the moment. Locally though, the RBA of course meeting next Tuesday. What do you think we're going to be seeing them doing? Look, I think they might hold off next week uh, and wait for the next quarter CPI figure to come in, uh, which we'll have before the August meeting. So I don't think we'll see a move uh, on Tuesday. I think, look, the market's certainly pricing in a further cut, if not possibly two this year now. On the back, uh, we've seen yields uh, moving low to reflect that, but I don't think they'll move next week. I think they'll wait for the August uh, meeting. All right, fantastic, Simon. We'll leave it there. Really appreciate you joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. Simon Michelle joining us there from Fig Securities. Well,